and Trump hears us loud and clear that he is wrong. We have to stop him. We have to speak loudly. Hey, 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 hey. Trump Bag has got to go. That was from yesterday's A Day Without a Woman protest. It turned into an anti-Trump protest. That was being led by a man. Female protesters encouraged to take the day off from work, even avoid shopping, even stop smiling in solidarity. That's what one advice. And they also told to wear red in solidarity as well. Joining me now, former Trump transition senior advisor, Katrina Pearson. You know, Katrina, it sounds like that guy was not promoting women's rights. He was just protesting President Trump, right? Well, you know, Liz, I think many of the protests that we see uh, lately all seem to revolve around President Trump. And only in America can a man take over a feministic women's rights rally and make it all about what he thinks about the president of the United States. But this is where we are today. You know, over a dozen women were arrested yesterday in New York City for disorderly content, uh, conduct. Um, you know, I, listen, we're, it's free speech, you know, about protesting all of that. but. Uh, what the question, the question I have is, I would think that the way to get your point across is to be peaceful, right? Well, one would think, yes. Uh, and, you know, the left has spent a lot of time talking about uh, Trump campaign and their supporters and how angry that they were when, in fact, you see, it's just the opposite. Uh, Trump supporters were always very loving and caring, but that they were being attacked by the left. Um, it's about practicing what you preach. And it's past time for the left to learn that because I do believe the American public is getting very tired of these types of things, particularly those that pull teachers out of the classrooms. I mean, how many women are hurt when they have to find child care for their kids or take the day off of work, which is exactly what happened in, in this case? Yeah, Katrina, and also we had this one conservative group. They countered the, the protests. They did hashtag without a woman with uh, Hashtag we show up, meaning we show up at work, and hashtag not my protest. You know, this group encouraged women to continue working and serving and giving and sharing. They're saying that's the way to set the example. Do you see anything wrong with that? I think that's uh, an amazing way to counter protest. Uh, showing up for work is, uh, should be one of a, a personal expectation, and it's also setting example for everyone else. Um, this idea that uh, you know, stop shopping and cooking and cleaning is extremely sexist, in my opinion, because I applaud the women that actually have time to cook and clean. Uh, so the whole thing was just background noise for a greater picture, which is just people who want to set out and try to continue this, uh, this derangement around President Trump and continue to protest his election. You know, Melania uh, Trump, the first lady, held events yesterday. Ivanka Trump, did things yesterday in commemoration and solidarity with the with women's rallies yesterday, but the media didn't cover it, Katrina. Well, of course not. Um, like I said, this is just a continuation of, of, of pushing out this propaganda, really, that a lot of people are upset with President Trump, and that's simply not the case. Uh, but Melania Trump uh, did what we should be doing this month, and that is honoring women, that is appreciating women. Uh, and unfortunately, the left thinks that smiles are reserved for women. It just really doesn't make sense anymore, Liz. Yeah, I want to get back to your comment before about uh, some of the things that were suggested sound as sexist. Um, you know, this is from the Day Without Women website. You know, the women are encouraged to take the day off, avoid shopping, wear red in solidarity, even stop cleaning, cooking, and smiling. How does that sound to you? I think it sounds extremely sexist, and I mean, I was kind of offended when I heard it myself. Like I said, I don't even have time to cook and clean. <laughs> So, so to, to reserve those types of duties and assign them to women, that in and of itself is sexist, and I, no one even called them out on that.